Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the 1st of December, the last month of the year, the last month of a decade, and 12 days before the general election, and uh, 24 and a half days or so before Christmas, 31 days before 2020. An exciting year. Many people are planning for 2020 already. Many people are talking about 2020 already. I, I say I'm more focused on tomorrow. I say I'm more focused on the next week. I believe sometimes when we focus so much on uh, a month away or new year, I sometimes think it's an art of procrastination. You may disagree, but as someone reminded me, be a free thinker and think as all you want. And uh, yeah, procrastination is a kill of time. Why wait till 2020 when you can do it now and today? That is that is my thought. That's it. Finish for the rest of the day. Well, welcome and good afternoon to the late one with yourself, Silver and Sidil here. Um, hi, Sir Brady and how Maxi. Uh, please share this. Uh, my topic today will be the targeting of Superintendent Robin Williams. Is this blatant discrimination? Is it racism? Is it unfair? It is dispropor is it disproportionate with the 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 way how she's being treated as a excellent officer, or is it the law? Simply the law, the shackles at the same time. You know, but um, that's that that's 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 what it is. But we're going to talk about it later. Well, we still have few days. Well, twelve days before the general election, and that is going to be uh, uh, mother. I should say the mother of all elections. But at the same time. Every time I hear about an election, they always say it is the mother of all elections. Well, this could be the dan daddy or the daddy of all elections. Could it be? My philosophy and my thinking is that it makes no sense to have an election that outcomes with a hung parliament. Might as well we all pack, pack our bags and go and just call it a day. Makes no sense. The only way forward is for majority with the the present government of Boris Johnson that's just my thinking we believe we need to set it down it's interesting at the same time I was at the BBC recently having a a, a debate on I think it was a, on on the black perspective of the manifestors and are very interesting very interesting and uh, you can see the wall disparity the the way how all things are perceived regarding this election coming up what sort of election it is what sort of election do you think it is ladies and gentlemen i think it is simply a brexit election whether we like it or not it is a brexit election but for in law they talk about the but for principle but for but for the fact that parliament wasn't able to move forward but for the fact that the Prime Minister was not able to get the majority but for the fact that they couldn't get Brexit through then that is the basis why the election was called nothing else nothing more get that out of the way that's just my perspective yeah uh, before I go any further I must say I want to give my condolences to the the two persons who were killed in the recent, uh, you know, killing in in London by this crazy guy, the latest lady, which has been named Saskia Jones, 23, you know, and also the granny Jack Merritt, 25, fatally stabbed by the convicted terrorist Usman Khan that is very unfortunate but what also is very good at the same time amidst the unfortunate there was something else which I found very encouraging and very inspiring 
was how Londoners actually rose to the challenge. And by rising to those challenge, they went after that guy and they gave him a good grilling. As one guy in the States called it, they baked it. Then the police came in after and they, they killed him. Many people were questioning why did the police kill him, right? When the, the citizens were on top of him. But what I understood after is that they saw that he had on a vest, maybe like a suicide vest. And by having on this suicide vest, that could be detrimental, whereby the, the citizens that ran after him and held him down, kudos to them, maybe weren't aware of it. And what I understand when there's a suicide vest on a, a particular person, you need to get it, get, him, get it to the head. You need to stop him from actually making a phone call, maybe pressing a button or anything like that. It was just like with Gene Charles. Is that Gene Charles, the gentleman after 7-7 seven, seven, that they run down the, 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 the train, I think it was at, I uh, forget which station it was, Oval or Vauxhall or whatever like that, whereby they kill him straight to the head or he had on a back, backpack. Because the view was that if he's a bomber, you don't want him to reach the trigger, you know. So my condolences to the two persons. And uh, I was today at Waterloo. And um, of course, I can see lots of police activities. And, uh, you know, and of course, you know, it, it, it is without a doubt um, a challenging time. And, and I can feel it for the families of these two persons, Cambridge University, both of them. And, uh, and interesting, Mr. Merritt is apparently, he was working with the young gen, with the Mr. Usman Khan. And, 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 and that, was, that was very unfortunate, you know. So, but as they say, London, is, uh, London must keep going and must keep going. And the best way to defeat terrorism is not to let the terrorism um, stop anything. Um, and, you know, so, so that is unfortunate, really. Um, today, I was also uh, fortunate to have a chat with uh, a minister of uh, a government member a government officer from the from Jamaica and it it was all about that Jamaica was re-elected to serve on the Council of the International Maritime Organization for the period 2020 to 21 watch that video I won't bother talk about that what well, I had a brief catch up with Dr. Alwyn Hales permanent secretary in the Ministry of Transport and Mining and uh, I miss Mr. Bobby Mont Montague. Um, anybody who knows, I'm Jamaican, so I always try to follow up on what's happening in Jamaica as well. And uh, I was also joined by Yvonne, Yvonne Barnett Russell, Director of Legal Services, and also a good friend who studied law in the UK. And uh, what I wanted to do was just to catch up as to what is the whole IMO is about, International Maritime Organization, is impact for Jamaica, why Jamaica wanted to be on the council and why they were wanting to be elected. And it shows that Jamaica, even though it's a small island, it has this massive impact worldwide. This massive impact, guess what? Because I'm there, I'm Jamaican, so I've got my impact. Anyway, <laughs> you got Kofi, you got Usain Bolt, you 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 know, you got Bob Marley, and not just that, you know, you've got great icons for Jamaica, Marcus Garvey, and, and great individuals that um, set the stage for, for Jamaica. So kudos to Jamaica for that, kudos to Dr. Alwyn Hills and, 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 and Bobby Montague who led the team, and uh, kudos to everyone who set the stage for that. Okay, right. My, my topic today is, um, it's about this police officer. Um, this, this officer, you know, what is very interesting is that um, she seems to be a very well-liked officer, you know? You see, sometimes when we get these videos, and I know people love sending videos, people love sending pictures, um anything people just send them you know you know I, I i don't know if you have ever been subject to just opening up your phone whatsapp somebody that you trust and they just send you a video open it's oh my god what is this you know and there bam if you're not careful it is lodged on your phone because according to your phone you know i, I was fortunate that someone showed me how to stop um things from actually saving on your phone that you have to literally save it yourself and after a while, I had to start um, stopping people. And eventually, after a while, I started deleting people and blocking people who just send things, right? They just send information. They just send dirty things. They just send dirty pictures. They send uh, pictures of killing, um, gruesome sexual acts and all those sort of things, um, children things. They send it to you. 
and and sometimes you question why do you send this and they will say sometimes oh i sent it because um I, I think you would know if it is genuine or not and i say come on this is ridiculous you know so this officer right superintendent robin will williams and it talks about an example of met institutional racism that's what they say institutional racism right she's a you know she she's what is a decorated officer right a decorated officer robin williams a decorated officer as we can see right and what happened she was sent a clip by her sister jennifer hutch and was found guilty after a jury rejected her claim that she had not been aware of its contents despite accepting that she had not viewed it have you ever been sent a clip have you ever maybe after a while when you you check your phone and you realize hang on a second this thing is actually safe on your phone right many people are saying the pursuit of a senior police officer on the pedophile laws when she's not a sex offender is discriminatory and an example of institutional racism still poisoning the police fort force that's what the black police association has claimed right and that came after superintendent robin williams decorated senior police officer convicted last week of possessing a child abuse video was sentenced to do unpaid work and put on a register meant for sex offenders it was said that she did not see the clip. I think that was something which wasn't disputed. Um, I think the jury didn't believe that. But so many questions you're asking is, wh why did the sister send it to her? Well, the sister may have sent it to her because, hey, she's a cop and maybe they want to brought it to her attention. Because many times when people get these videos, they always say, forward it to a police officer, forward it to the police or whatever like that. So maybe that is what happened, right? They said she was sent the unsolicited video in February 2018 by her sister who wanted the pedophile behind it hunted down and caught. Yeah? Wanted the pedophile behind it hunted down and caught. The judge sentenced her accepting that she had no sexual interest in children and said he had to improvise a sentence because of the very unusual circumstances of the case. This is what they say about Williams. One of the most senior female African Caribbean officers in Britain. Praise for her work after the Grenfell fire disaster. I do recall actually seeing her on the, in, the, in the runnings around that time. Despite her conviction last week, the public gallery at Old Bailey Central London was packed with people who came to show their support for her. She was sentenced to 200 hours of unpaid work with her job after 36 years of stellar service. Her lawyers are considering appeal, right? Her sister, Jennifer Hudge, who suffers from anxiety and depression, had been outraged. The video was circulating on social media and sent it to all 17 people in her WhatsApp contact list. William claimed she was unaware her sister had sent her the video, right? The common sergeant of London, Richard, George Richard Marx said William claims of ignorance were fanciful especially given the hudge was extremely upset by the video and the two sisters had spent hours with each other without williams reporting it the judge told her it is complete tragedy you find yourself in the position you now do william was acquitted last week of another charge of corporate failing in her duty to report the video because she wanted to avoid getting her sister in trouble the jury contact con convicted on five of six counts brought against Williams, her sister, and her sister's partner. The treatment of Williams 54 has caused concern among some in policing, in the Police Superintendent Association, among Williams staff, and the Black Police Association. For black officers, the concerns boil over publicity on Tuesday as Williams, yeah, one of the BPA founding members, Black Police Association, was awarded honors of her work, what was facing what the judge called immense consequence. Right, so what what is what is what is happening here now is that 
she's been convicted she's been charged 200 hours work and I, I think her job is in jeopardy or commendation for something that she's not guilty of something that she did not do all it is is the fact that it came on the phone what but there are laws and and that is the thing now a senior and, and this is this is what a senior police officer a senior um what is it let me find it there's a, there's a senior prosecutor senior prosecutor let me see if i can find it yeah exemplar a former yeah a former top prosecutor today led calls for senior black met officer who is facing a sack of a child abuse video that was sent to her phone to keep her job lord mcdonald of river Glaven, who was director of public prosecution between 2003 and 2008 warned it would be highly disproportionate to dismiss superintendent robin williams for breaching an outdated law an outdated law he said a decorated officer failure to report illegal clip after receiving it from her sister whatsapp can't possibly justify the destruction of her career what they are saying it is not proportionate a stellar service right i mean guys come on think about it so many people actually make mistakes politicians make mistakes every day you know um footballers i mean managers sometimes they dismiss they start again people apologizing whatever i mean the fact of the situation there is no record of this lady having any form of action or any past in regards to this sort of action her sister sent her something and she did not see it and even if she saw it and listen even if she saw it and she actually reported it or, or whatever like that that doesn't mean to say that she's guilty of it you know maybe get a wrap on her on her knuckles and uh you know you know maybe just go back to um to sort it out he said miss william was an ex employer officer would fall in fall of legislation not fit for purpose which has failed to keep pace with modern forms of communication right the thing about lord mcdonald intervention followed the conviction of superintendent william for possessing an indecent video of a child on her phone she had been sent the clip by her sister jennifer hudges and was found guilty after a jury rejected her claim that she had not been aware of its contents right the jury rejected the claim that she had not been aware of its contents despite accepting that she had not viewed it right so there's a difference there they accept that she had not viewed it but they are rejecting her claim that she had not been aware of its contents maybe there's something in the the whatsapp discussions or whatever with her sister uh, to the 17th person may have said something Judge Richard Mark described the case as a tragedy and warned that her grave error of judgment was likely to have immense consequences for her career as he sentenced her to 200 hours of unpaid work. Right? And she's going to be on the child protection register. Or, or, or sorry, all the, all the child. Or offense against the children register. Now, how can you be a cop, really? How can you really be a cop and then at the same time you are you know, subject to all of this thing? You got this this criminal record how can you be that's that's reality so it's highly likely unless there's a successful appeal lord mcdonald led call for superintendent williams who had awarded the queen's police medal for distinguished service in 2003 to be treated leniently as he warned that the law which makes it an automatic offense to possess indecent images of children had failed to keep pace with technology which allows such material to be received easily and without warning what she's done can possibly justify the destruction of her career. Lord McDonald told Stan, it is highly disproportionate, that's the word, disproportionate and extremely unfortunate that we might be going to lose an outstanding police officer. Huh? Now I recognize the whole aspect when it comes on to child protection. I do recognize the whole aspect of protection of children. I do recognize as well that there's this dark web where many people find it very interesting and exciting with children right so there's something which is going on out there and maybe there's a sort of level of zero tolerance there are many people in high places that has been found guilty of um of you know of being guilty of you know abusing children 
right? Many that we could say. I remember one time I, I was in court when this, when I took this lady to court for actually hitting me in the back of my car. And they, and they, they were trying to make it look as if to say that I, I was lying at one point during the court hearing. Um, can you imagine someone hitting your back? And then the person said, actually, I was trying to overtake, and they actually hit you in the back. So she was lying. This lady was lying. And then the barrister, they, they always says, um, a, a lawyer who defends himself as a fool for a client. So, of course, as a lawyer myself, um, it is best not to defend yourself. You get somebody else uh, to defend you. So my barrister, the barrister who was allocated to myself, she actually said to the judge, well, We've got to be careful here because uh, Mr. Cyril is an officer of the court as well, as a lawyer. And um, if anything happens or is against him, it may affect his career. And the judge smiled and she would go wink in a sense by saying, well, I've seen many cases. I've seen many persons who have come before me, high character, high level of caliber, and who are guilty. So let me be the judge of that. <laughs> and there was a sort of snicker in the courtroom. Anyway, let's let you know I won. And, 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 and um, you know, I got everything covered. But the point about it is that just because of a person um, standard or, or character or what is being seen, it could be the fact that they've just been caught out for the first time. Doesn't mean to say they have not been involved. But in this particular case, all the actions and everything lead to somewhat deemed to be unfair, right? And what, what, what the, the former prosecutor is saying, legislation has not kept up with modern forms of communication People simply do, don't look into everything in their inbox or open all the attachments that come with their emails or their WhatsApp. And at the moment, the law wouldn't protect you in that situation. That's unsatisfactory. And that is correct. Right now, if I dare to check my, my, um, my Yahoo, and you'd be shocked. In my, in my Yahoo, it is saying there is over 999 unopened messages on my phone which is about six or so different email addresses um you know fbj sub said the talk show and everything like that combined it says <laughs> believe it or not over twenty four thousand on open messages because you get all these different spam spam and sometimes i don't get a chance to go through them so really and truly what you're talking about is that are you guilty of everything which is on your phone are you guilty of everything that comes to you, whether you see it or not? Are you liable? If that's the case, if that's the case, which is what is happening here now, that means to say you've got to be very careful with the things that you have on the phone. And that is why I keep cautioning people all the while. Stop sending images. Stop sending videos. Stop sending things just because you think it, it, it's good to send. People sometimes like to be the first one, you know, um, killing fighting people just keep sending these things just keep sending them in stop sending videos stop sending images stop sending things just delete them right and there's also privacy setting on your phones whereby you can actually stop images from downloading on your phone right and and, and just block people just just people who just don't understand that people just you know just like to send things i always say to people if you're going to send me something in my inbox post it on your page and tag me so therefore, people can see that you're the one, of course. And if I'm tagged, of course, I have to prove it because tag don't just automatically come on my page. I have to approve the tag as well. And this is what persons need to bear because right now, you've seen because of the actions of a, a, a sister who maybe innocently sent it to her because her sister is a police. Um, she said, can you check this out or whatever? Maybe she said something in it that made me, that, that, that's why the court is actually saying she is aware of it. That is why they are actually, um, you know, she found guilty. 200 hours for getting a sexual abuse picture of a child um, performing a sex act on someone, right? And as a result of that, she's done. And her career could be done. Just like that, right? But what, what they're saying is that it is disproportionate. Legislation has not kept up with modern forms of communication. People simply don't look at everything in their inbox or open all the attachments. Are you, are you like that? Come up with their mail, their WhatsApp, and the moment of the law wouldn't protect you in that situation. That's unsatisfactory. Are you like that? Right? He added, the prosecutors may have thought that they had to bring the child because that's the law. That's why I say the law sometimes can be an ass, like a shackle. Right? Um, but I think we have a law here that is not fit for modern purpose. So therefore, this is where 
Parliament need to be lobbied and this is where it needs to be looked at. If she didn't look at it and wasn't aware that it was on her phone, then in my view, he said, she shouldn't attract criminal liability because there is no intention, right? Or there is no mens rea, right? That's the thing, you know? If she did know what it was and simply failed to report it, that should be an internal police disciplinary matter. And I think that is the right way to go forward, right? It is an internal police disciplinary matter. She's an exemplary officer, he said, for her career to be destroyed because there was something on her phone that she may not have been aware of seemed, not, seemed to be, be absolutely disproportionate. And I agree with that, right? Lord MacDonald's comment came as others joined former Met Commissioner Lord Blair in calling for Miss Williams to keep her job. In 1997, she had been praised by Jack Straw, who was Home Secretary for her profile of black officers. And this is the thing now. Isn't it interesting how negative news tend to get more prominence than the positive things? I'm seeing so much positives of her, right? She was honored by the Queen for a role during the 2011 London riots and later for helping victims of the Grenfell Tower in 2017. Sopna Wilner was tipped to become Scotland Yard's first black commissioner. You hear that? She was also tipped to become Scotland Yard's first black commissioner, right? In 1970s, 1997, when Jack Straw was Home Secretary, she was praised by him for raising the profile of black officers. All those good things. Are the good things being championed? Good things are not being championed, ladies and gentlemen. But the bad thing, that wonderful bad thing, can champion. Right? I know of a Caribbean restaurant right now is going through something whereby somebody posted a video and it's affecting them. That one video. But at the same time, all the great food and all of those that's not promoted the good is normally not promoted the positive things in life are normally not promoted what is normally promoted is that bad thing that one thing you could have your life ladies and gentlemen you could have your life and everything is going right and you make a mistake we all do make mistakes we all do something out of character and then you're bam crucified but the good things one two three four five six seven eight nine ten man that person has been doing all these great things then why just that one thing be the damning factor that put the person down? That one thing. It's just like that teacher in Jamaica. Um, it's like she went through a process whereby she was mad and she she, she she told the child off big time. You know, I'm, I'm not happy with some of the words that she said, but I saw something through it. I saw something whereby she's not of that character. Well, that's my perspective. Other people are saying, well, that's how she is. She's not of that character. It is out of character. So something like this, one would say, it is out of character unless one can prove otherwise. Unless one can say that there have been things like this which isn't happening before with Superintendent Robin Williams. But that's not the case. So all the positive things that she has been doing somewhat has been pushed aside. Racism or is the law? Blatant discrimination or is the law? Only you can judge. I can't. I can I can say many people say it is the institutional racism. Well, one has got to question if this has ever happened to any other officers, if this has ever happened to any other white officers, right? Because if there's never, and it's only her, well, one can sort of infer from such. But I wouldn't want to go out of the way to say that it was blatant discrimination. It could be just this particular law is a shackle. Former Met Superintendent Leroy Logan claimed that Miss William treatment smacked of double standards as he praised her as a very competent and efficient police officer. Leroy Logan has been on my show before. He added, Robin should not lose her job over this. She has been singled out, he said, and faced indirect victimization and racism. Well, he's calling out racism. If she was a white officer, she would have been given words of advice or an internal misconduct hearing. Now, Leroy Logan knows a bit about the police because he was a former superintendent of police for Hackney. And if he's saying that, well, those are heavy words which has got to be weighed, right? Those are words which are weighted, more weighted than myself because I can only infer from what I'm seeing. But that's what Le Leroy says. Victor Marshall of the Police Superintendent Association said that Miss William legal team was considering an appeal and I trust that the appeal will go through. Right? The Met said it was completely wrong to suggest this serious matter involving possession of an indecent image of a child being sexually abused was pursued due to the ethnicity 
of the defendants. Now, that's what the meta said. They said it has nothing to do with racism, nothing to do with her ethnicity. It is simply based on what has happened. They're looking at it from a factual situation. It is said that the decision to charge Superintendent Williams had been taken in line with College of Policing, College of Policing guidance and added the conduct of Superintendent William is subject to an investigation by the Independent Office for Public Conduct and we wait for the outcome. What do you say? I'd love to hear your views. I'd love to hear your comments about this. Do you believe it was victimization, discrimination, blatant or um, racism? Do you believe it? Yeah, she has been single, um, um, singled out because of her race, as some claim? What do you say? Now, at the same time, there is a, a petition <clears throat> which I saw going around, and I just want to bring it to yourself. It is reinstate superintendent robin williams and dismiss all charges right it is now at 4181 it was created by cassandra wasey and what it says is superintendent robin williams has been a victim of systematic racism and deserved the support of her colleague as well as the general public she was convicted of possessing a child abuse video on her phone has been told the faces she faces immense career consequences she was sent the video image by a family member and didn't even watch the video yet she had been made a scapegoat and faces dire consequences after a career of many years which she has been untainted throughout we demand that this racist system <coughs> changes we demand that this racism changes its, its ways by starting with superintendent robin williams right so what they are saying, according to this petition, it is a racist system. Change its ways by starting with Superintendent Robin Williams. Um, you can sign this petition and I will post the link right here for you to um, do that. Uh, so my question is, what do you think? What's your thoughts? Have you ever been subject to such? Have you ever been caught with something on your phone? All right. And stop sending things. This is what I will say. Stop sending things. Stop just sending videos. Don't just keep sending videos just because it looks like it's okay to send it. Because it's it can put you in problems. Right? It can put you in serious problems. So I, I, I wish this officer all the best. I'm, I'm rooting for her. That's why I said, let me just do my bit here and um, share this topic and to bring it to our attention. Because while the election is going on and while everything is going on at the same time, she's going through something. And I can imagine um, her, her fellow comrades, her fellow um, you know, police officers. So we'll watch to see how it goes. And I, I'll keep an eye on this uh, as everything like that. So, so yeah, let me hear what you say. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful Sunday night. And uh, I got something good for you, as a matter of fact. I started this massive business. And, and if you're interested in getting some free free website, I'm going to give off you a free website for the for persons who actually say, send me the free website. I'm going to send you a free website where you can get competitive holiday deals. Right? competitive holiday deals that's my christmas present okay all the way to christmas because what people are going to be traveling in february march some competitive prices for holiday deals a free website okay if you're interested inbox me and i'll send you the details as well to do that without further ado i want to wish you a wonderful night and as well you know happy electioning i um, hope you're following the election december the 12th um People are getting their postal votes now. You know, do your postal vote. You can actually vote. And that's why I just said to myself, I can't bother anymore with this um, leaders debate. If Boris Johnson is not interested and Jeremy Corbyn is not interested, what's the sense of being interested with all of this? I think it's time now for persons to start to think and say, hang on a second, all these politicians, no disrespect, if they get voted out, all they do, they go and have their after dinner speech, go back to their laws, their jobs, which they did before. And, and they just live a good life. We've got to make sure that we are ensuring that we are having a good life, making sure that we are 
creating different streams of income or developing leading up to 2020 as i kept saying at the start it's not about 2020 but it's about starting now starting tomorrow not now but just right now to create some different in your life changing your financial position you know brexit or no brexit trust me it won't make a fundamental difference what will make a fundamental difference is you making a decision stepping up on your why and changing your financial position as much as possible okay so i want to thank you very much and have a good night on instagram land michelle um lakers um guys have a wonderful night and peace out bye bye